So welcome to part seven in the series. If you haven't watched one through six, you might want to do that. But today we're going to talk about double bass kits. And basically, a lot of people have a negative opinion of people who play double bass kits. They think two bass drums is excessive, unnecessary, ridiculous, etc. And they might be right. But the one thing that's interesting about double bass kits is that this is just a random collection of pictures I pulled off Google. And I didn't have to look very hard to find ones that I thought were fairly ergonomically correct. Um, I don't know how tall the drummers are. And I think there's some weird symbol issues like this next one they're super high for some reason but in general it is accepted that you set up a double bass kit in a relatively ergonomic manner and people think that that's normal so this diagram here is a typical like six piece double bass kit two rack toms one floor tom two kicks and a snare um, it's pretty standard I don't think you'll find anyone who would disagree that this is how you set up a double bass kit which is very weird because if you set up a, a five piece single bass kit in exactly the same manner but without the second bass drum you get a lot of kickback people will say you're crazy that you're doing it wrong that that's just not how it's done um, but for some reason setting up a double bass kit like this makes perfect sense so this is the diagram I've shown in a previous video on toms and it's uh, the ideal sort of ergonomic five-piece setup that I think should be used uh, to be correct and if you look at it it's exactly the six-piece diagram uh, that I just showed with one of the bass drums removed. I mean, it is identical in every other way. So why do people find this weird, but the double bass six piece not weird? I, I have no idea. I have no way to answer that um, other than to say that a lot of people are very confused. So here's some more random pictures of fairly ergonomic looking double bass kits, and they were easy to find. Um, generally speaking, it, it is an issue to have two bass drums. The tuning is an issue, the extra gear is an issue, the expense is an issue, storage, transport, etc. So it doesn't make a lot of sense from a practical perspective, except that generally when people have two bass drums, they make better ergonomic decisions about their kit. So they're not smarter, it's somehow the kit drives them to do it, not their general intellect. But single bass players could learn from this. Especially since most people use a double pedal these days, it's not that a single bass kit is normal and a double bass kit is extra, it's that a single bass kit is a double bass kit missing a bass drum. 